with its pass. Mm -hmm. And it downs. Mm -hmm. The awakening consciousness that is expanded. Well, basically, Marion, you know, for the last, I guess, three years or so, I have been doing some yoga um, through my fin fitness center and whatnot. But when I do at home yoga now, especially during this whole COVID thing, I have mm -hmm. been doing it at home. Um, online, um, there's, I keep coming up with different uh, questions about different things that I, I don't understand. And um, for instance, is when I um, when I am trying. You had said before when I'm trying trying to bring my left and my right out of plank. What we you know what I call plank. What you say mm -hmm. the Sanskrit um, name for Chaturanga. Chaturanga. Um, I often can, or what I'm expected to, from downward facing dog, what you call the mountain. Mm -hmm. I, when I am um, expected to move my my leg forward for this, I can't really move them, and I don't know why that is. The left side is better, but I have a hard time swinging the leg around, and I'm wondering am I missing some point in between that would help me with that? Do you understand what I'm saying? I understand what you're saying, okay. but or the finding the real answer to it is hard for me. Okay. Because it could have so many uh, reasons. Okay. One of the reasons could be that uh, you're just not as open in your hips. Okay. One side as the other, because typically we are not even in our bodies. Okay. Like we have you know different energies on our, in our bodies, and sometimes the anatomy is not even. Um, so there's always the chocolate set. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In your case, the uh, left is your chocolate and the uh, right is your uh, chocolate side. Uh, but what you can try and what you already did is when you're in this position, um, either in the downward looking dog, mm -hmm. you, as I call it, mm -hmm. or in the, well, from the plank position, you wouldn't do a step forward because that's and that should be or handle the way it is mm -hmm. possible. Mm -hmm. So if you're in that position, what you could do always bring your knee down, knee down. And then if you need help, just go ahead and place it just in not really any kind of and problem. eventually it will learn the the movement mm -hmm. and then you can try just the more that the head opens yeah, up with and time. try to down from under the body, uh -huh. not like <laughs> yeah, that's what I do. See, that's what I'm asking about. Because I know I'm not doing it right. I mean, that's what you do when you cannot. You you try to mm -hmm. put it up front, but typically your leg should be in line with your hip, mm -hmm. so it should be the movement like keeping this straight line as much as you can. Yeah, and then lift it with the hand. You know, yeah. Straight. Exactly. Um, one other thing I wanted to ask you for your uh, suggestion, but just a quick yogi tip. When you one has uh, something important to do and they don't have time for a full morning or afternoon or evening yoga routine, do you have any tips like for something very quickly? I know for everything they have these little shortcuts for warming up as dancers or warming up the voice. But in yoga, is there anything that a yogi can do to focus, to concentrate, and to uh, pull themselves together or center themselves um, quick, with a short period of time? Yeah. Well, the, the shortest actually is the Surya Namaskar. Okay. When you want to have a workout, a body workout long Okay. Time. So bring your... Um, <laughs> Circulation oh, yeah. to flow, have your muscles, your joints, and everything warmed up. That's mm -hmm. Surya Namaskar, and it only takes five minutes mm -hmm. total mm -hmm. if you mm -hmm. like. Or is that what we just did before? Yes. Is, that, is that also the morning groups where morning yes. uh, the sun, sun, the sun, salutation. sun salutation? Exactly. And, but in terms of uh, do you deal with fire breathing and that kind of thing too? Or you can you... do that prior to the exercises. You can do um, the pranayama techniques as well. Oh, okay. But that, of course, will take a little bit more time. It takes more time. But the fastest thing to do 
or the, uh, the more most effective thing to do is to just go through the morning, the morning. The morning I'd say so. Sort of to, to really wake up your body for five minutes, and for five minutes, and then, for five minutes. then you're totally okay. Oh, some quick questions about eating before drinking, before you do yoga. Uh, I've had one yogi tell me. In the morning, I can have my juice or my coffee, then hit the mat with no food. I've had other yogis say you could eat something light. What do you suggest? Uh, before you start, eat something light. <laughs> but definitely <laughs> don't have a big meal. My normal <laughs> don't, don't have my foodie breakfast. No. <laughs> but typically, uh, it's sad to not have a heavy meal two to three hours before you do the practice. So typically, when I get up in yeah. the morning, I might have something to drink, okay. and then I do my sun salutation, mm -hmm. and then I have lunch towards noon, and yeah, and that's it. And then that's it in the evening when I unterrichte. Um, yeah. Then uh, when I teach, mm -hmm. then I eat usually around noon time, so I don't have a full stomach. So your largest meal is in the evening or in the middle of the day? In the middle of the day. Okay. That because when I come home after my sense. teaching, mm -hmm. it's not really good to have a big meal then. So the normal morning for you would be you get up and you go into your tea or your you come to home coffee. Yeah, in, yeah. In, 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 you know. Um but you have your tea, you have your tea or water mm -hmm. and then you hit you hit the mat. Mm -hmm. Is it the first thing you do before no, actually before I do that I meditate. <laughs> okay, so you start off with meditation. I start off. In a special place, or you yes. do it your own. Yeah. Oh, I don't mean that you have a little use, and the, uh, you have a fun room in one of your in your um, last. No, 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 that's not that. <laughs> <laughs> that, was so okay. so that was so nice with the hammock and the pillows and the colors. Yeah. And, no. Oh, okay. So that's what I do before I start on anything. Else. Okay. And, and do you meditate for a particular amount of time, or it just depends on what's going on with you? It depends on my schedule as mm -hmm. well, and I wake up. Mm -hmm. Kind of late, and I don't have that much time. I shorten mm -hmm. my meditation, but I try to meditate for 30 minutes. That's Ooh. what I try. So, 30 minutes, then a half hour or more of yoga? 15 minutes. 15 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes. 15 minutes. That's the sun salutation. And before you go out for the day, then you eat something for breakfast, like yeah. afterwards, and then start the day. Yeah. Okay, very good. <laughs> we have some tips for the yoga. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Okay. In the front of your mat, okay. ground your feet, okay. put your pelvis a little bit inside so your lower leg is straight, mm -hmm. raise your head, Yes. take your hands in front of your chest in the prayer position, yes. take a deep breath, exhale with the next inhale, raise your arms up towards the sky, oh. exhaling, bend down towards the earth. Inhale, take a big step with your right foot all the way back. You can put your right knee down okay. and come up with your upper body. Mm -hmm. Exhale, <clears throat> put your left leg towards your right leg mm -hmm. and come into the holy mountain mirror. Okay. Good. Give your back a good stretch. Try to put your feet into the mattress far as possible, okay. hands are fully, the fingers are stretched and the palms are in the mat. Take a deep breath and then come into the Chaturanga. Okay, so plank. This is what plank call position, plank. Yes, yes, exactly. Okay. Shoulders should be above your hand um, gelenke <laughs> <laughs> and your belly and your, yeah, your belly is tight. Yeah. And then yes. with the exhale, <laughs> you bend your knees and come to your stomach. Say, <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you, Jesus. Thank <laughs> you, Jesus. <laughs> Have your arms below your shoulders. Okay. Put your feet together, put your pelvis into the mat, and with the inhale, come into the cobra of Bhujanga Asana. And with exhaling, lift your body back into the holy mountain and give your back another good stretch. Ooh, feel good. 
Inhale, make a big step with your right foot in between your hands and you can also put your left knee down and put your feet foot up and raise again towards the sky. Exhale, take your left foot to the right foot and come into a forward bend. Inhale, raise your body, stretch again towards the sky and exhale, take your arms over the side. That's one side of it. Now let's do the other side. Okay. Put your hands in front of your breast again. Mm -hmm. Inhale, stretch up, exhale, bend down all the way. Now the left foot makes a big step towards the bed. Left knee on the floor and you raise up. Exhale. <laughs> Take your right foot towards the left foot and you come into the middle position. Give your back a good stretch. Alright. Inhale, come into the chaturanga or the plank position again. Exhale down onto your belly. Inhale for the cobra or bhujanga. Exhale. Press yourself into the middle again. And now with another big step with your left foot this time, you bring it in between. Oh, your I can do my right. I can't do my right, but I can do my right. Okay. <laughs> Put your right knee down and lift yourself up. Then pull your right foot towards the left, come into a a big bend again, and then with the next inhale, raise, stretch yourself up towards the sky, and exhale. Put your hands next to you. Okay. One more? Yeah. Okay. okay. Then let's do it again. A little bit faster this time. Okay. All right. All right. Hands in prayer position. Mm -hmm. In goes the hands go up. Okay. Out. You bend down. Right foot all the way back. Bend your knee and lift up. Now the left foot to the right foot into the mountain. Give yourself a good stretch. Inhale, come to the plank position. Exhale, lower your whole body. Put your feet together. Inhale, Bhujanga. Exhale, mirror asana again. Yeah. Inhale, put your left knee down and hold it. Bring your right foot up front and you raise. Exhale, put your left foot towards the right foot, kind of big bow. Inhale, raise, stretch yourself Ooh. towards the sky. Exhale, yeah. over the sides. Oh. And left side again. Oh, we're not finished yet. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Now I'm staying. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 